So I am naturally a really curious person, and there's a lot of things in the world that I don't understand. But when I want to understand something in the world, I do three things that my father, my late father, a lieutenant colonel in the military, taught me. The first is I seek out information in a reliable resource, a book, a website, something with a citation, and something with a popular name. The second thing I do is I probably investigate it by asking someone who's an expert about that thing. The third thing I do is I make my own observations based on cultural experiences and I add those up in a sort of a empirical data sort of way and then I render my journalistic opinion. But here's something I don't get. I really don't understand why people always want to play with a homeless person. I really don't understand that. What I've experienced in the many months of the last year in this particular community of being homeless is that there's always somebody that wants to monkey with a homeless person. And what I mean by that, I'm not talking about being un inappropriate. What I'm saying is that they don't really regard me, but they want to treat me as if I'm sort of a part of their family when I'm not. And especially during a time of COVID, I don't really get what they're doing. You see, what I know about homelessness comes from a various opportunities and experiences with the challenge of being hit by cybercrime all the time, even to this day. Being hit by someone stealing my identity and thinking that they're going to win in some way. And literally experiencing the fraud on my life that has devoided me of data files, records, and medical rights, mobility rights, civil rights, privacy rights, you name it self-defense rights in some cases because most people like the ability to say no to things I mean help me understand this do you like the ability to never be able to say no to something do you like it when people push on your life despite the fact you're saying no and they want to do something to you or do something for you anyway you see I have a plan for my day I handle my time management the way that I see fit. I understand the constructs of the business community and how that typically works in an affluential and influential and well thought out, very well business planned economic development of a marvelous city or a small town. I've seen that because I've lived in different places, I've worked in different spaces, and I've been an entrepreneur all my own, all my life. Literally since almost age 12, but certainly from age 15 on. So I am not a foolish person about what it takes to develop a business. But here's what I don't understand and I really need some help on. Why do people interfere with other people's personal rights to pursue life, liberty, and happiness? And why do people presume they have a right to make decisions for other people's lives, especially when they're total strangers? And why do people think that they have the right to commandeer someone's life, especially someone over 30, as if it's going to be all right or okay? And why do people think it's all right to put their hands in someone's packages or put their hands in, in my case, some a house for me, which is simply a marvelous rollator with has a little bit of room for carrying my blankets you see I don't understand this because if we were in a regular situation people don't walk into your home and put their hands in the drawers of your dresser they don't walk in your refrigerator and take things out unless you're a really good friend and already have the welcoming of hey help yourself to anything like we used to get when we were babysitting as a kid and we had to stay there late and we probably didn't get supper and we're there to serve them supper and all this sort of thing that adults were not foolish about having a child participate in serving other children food. But I'm just talking about this, not to be rude, I'm really asking the question. Why on earth would you think you could make a choice for a total stranger? 